Always carry yourself like a player. What exactly is a player? Is he a pimp? Is he a gigolo? Or is he simply a ladies man? The truth is a player has the qualities of all the above. A pimp is an individual that manages women who trade sexual favors for cash. To be a pimp, you must master the art of controlling a woman mentally and physically. I've been around a few pimps in my day. Hell, a couple of them were my uncles. The way they dealt with women was a master class no college could ever teach you. I remember my uncle Big Dondi threw one of his girls off a second story balcony, made her get up, dust herself off, and hit the streets. If that ain't mind control, I don't know what it is. So a player is a pimp, right? Wrong. A player would never try to manhandle a woman physically. That is below a player's standards. We have morals. No disrespect to you pimps out there or my uncle, Dondi, but that's just not what we do. A player does have to know how to deal with a woman mentally, though. A gigolo is a man who is good at sex who charges mostly older, rich women for his time. I had a friend named Morris who was a gigolo. He had women paying for his cars, apartment, and clothes. The problem was, whenever one of these females felt slighted, the cash started to dry up. So he always was on the lookout for new customers. That's no way to live. So a player is like a gigolo? No. Of course, we have sex with women, but it's for pleasure. When a woman pays you cash, she feels you are her toy and has a certain privilege to you. And since gigolos depend on that money, they let women control them. No one can tell a real player what to do. And if we do make a chick break bread, it has nothing to do with sex. Damn, though, so what is a player? To simplify it, a player is a masculine male who knows how to pull and keep a stable of women. We know how to stimulate women mentally and physically. A player is verbally superior to most other men, and his thinking and his reasoning are always logical and on point. A player has no intention of settling down at the moment or being someone's boyfriend or husband. He is having too much fun juggling beautiful women like bowling pins. In fact, let's break down the different characteristics of a player. A player knows how to dress. He is up on fashion and his clothes always look good on him. No saggy pants or wave caps, at least not in public. A player always tries to look immaculate. His suits look tailored even when they are not. A true player can make most things that he chooses to wear look fly on him. A player keeps his hygiene up. Not that metrosexual stuff either, but we are always groomed and shaved. We try to stay fit and in the best shape that we can be in. I'm not saying that you have to have a six pack. But hitting the weights and doing cardio is a must. Also, watch what you eat. Limit that fast food, bucko. A player is confident. Now, let's make this clear right here and now. Being a confident player doesn't mean that you won't strike out with a woman every now and then. What it means is that if you do strike out, that you understand that it had nothing to do with you. That's right. You didn't do anything wrong. See, Elaine would think I must have said something wrong. A player thinks maybe she's married or a lesbian or just not feeling dating men at this moment in her life. In my mind, any woman not feeling me is probably nuts. So I feel lucky because I potentially just dodged a bullet. Now it's on to the next chick. That is the mindset you must have as a player, gentlemen. A player doesn't beg for sex or pay for it either. A player doesn't compromise his principles for anyone. We don't show any type of emotion towards women. A true player doesn't confuse happiness with love. Here's what I mean. I might be happy about being with this woman, but I'm not in love. I might be happy about the things she does for me, but I'm not in love. I'm happy that she cooperates in every way, but never will I mistake that feeling of happiness for being in love with her. A player is all about finding his purpose. I got a lot deeper into this with my audiobook Worship in the Game, link right here, but I will say this. No woman wants a man without anything going on in his life. And as a man, you should always have something going on. You need to find your true purpose in this life and start pursuing it. A player never player hates. If you see another player doing big things, congratulate him and be sincere about it. Envy has no place in the heart of a true player. You have to use that man's success as fuel to drive your car to new places. Let it motivate you to be better. And if another player happens to end up with a female that you used to mess with or even still dealing with, so what? 
She was never truly yours anyway. These hoes belong to the street. It's dirt on your shoulder. Brush it off and go to the next chick. A player should always stay ahead of the game. Always be thinking of your next move. You should always be at least two steps ahead of the game. If you only focus on the present, you won't be able to handle the revolving door of women in your life. Have a game plan for your player field nights. If you're out at a club, think of your next location. You have to visualize how the rest of your night is going to go once you meet the female that you are interested in. She might think you two are just going to breakfast after the club until she wakes up in the morning butt naked fixing you pancakes. So those are some tips on how you should carry yourself as a player. For more good game, get my free ebook below, 7 Ways to Attract Women. The link is in the description. And don't forget to follow me and hit the like button and ring that bell. Play on players.